This episode is brought to you by the Everyday E25 earbuds. What is this? Greetings, Earth person. I have great news. You know, man, I really don't have time for this today. My name is Blork, and I'm from the planet Raycon. No, your name is Jazz. I've hacked into your computer mainframe to tell you all about the new Everyday E25 earbuds from Raycon. Well, you didn't hack into anything. I accepted your video chat request. Here in the future, Raycons are all the rage. Raycons make a great holiday gift, because it's something they can use every day, for work or play, at home or on the go. Heck, with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and more bass, it's no wonder the E25s are used by only the coolest cats in the galaxy. Okay, are you from space or the future? Because earlier you said- But of course the E25s come in a fun variety of colors, and their new compact design gives you a noise-isolating fit. Do they start at half the price of any other wireless earbuds on the market? Affirmative. Stop calling me while I'm working. Raycon's being generous for the holidays, so on top of their everyday great prices, they're offering 15% off right now, so you can save big on gift shopping. Go to buyraycon.com slash manshorts or click the link in the description for 15% off your Raycon purchase today. Man Shorts. It's getting close to Christmas, and the three of you have been tasked with getting a gift for the king. Ugh, what is it? He would like some new socks. That's easy. I'll just hit up Amazon. Not so fast. He wants a specific brand that can only be found at Walmart. I am not going to Walmart in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, I'm just not going to Walmart. Fine. The socks are at Target. Is that better? What kind of socks are they? They're a special kind of knit sock made from the hair of a mythic reindeer. They're called Rudolphs. Anything else? The King Squire hurries over and hands you a folder. Inside is all the information you'll need about your quest. This is just a poorly drawn layout of the store with an X over the sock section. This seems too easy. Yeah, what's the catch? There is no catch. (laughs) You do know we can hear you? You now find yourself standing outside of Target. What would you like to do? I guess we'll go inside. You enter the front doors into a world of madness. There's a battle raging in front of a depleted stack of TVs. Everybody give me deck saves. 14. 16. 8. Waylon. A woman loses her grip during a television tug of war. Her elbow swings toward you and connects with your chin. Take 10 damage. What the heck, old lady? She looks at you and then screams, Help! This man has assaulted me! He punched my elbow with his chin! That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't matter. Security's on the way over. Quick, down here. I'm gonna lead him to the Halloween clearance aisle. You duck into the aisle and out of view of security. You can hear the lady crying in the background. Ooh, what costumes are left? There isn't much to choose from. Most of the costumes are made for children. The only one you find that could kind of work is a robe of sorts. I'll put it on. You are now concealed. Although you may look weird, being the only robed person in the store. It says the socks are located on the back wall of the store. Do you think we can stop by the electronics section to see if they have any PS5s? It is on the way. You make your way to electronics. There's a guy standing behind the counter. Welcome. Kevin has wares if you have coin. I was wondering if you had any PS5s. Kevin has to stifle his laughter. (laughs) Are you serious? She's not serious, is she? A simple no would suffice. Dick. Waylon, you notice something different about yourself. Almost as if you've tapped into a new energy. What kind of energy? You feel in tune with everything around you. Almost as if you could feed off of it. The force. Guys, let's get a move on. I want to be home in time to watch wrestling. You finally make it to the back wall of the store. You don't see any socks. But there is a person in a Target uniform standing around. Sir? Hi. Uh, we're looking for Rudolph's? He shushes you immediately. (laughs) The socks you seek cannot be found simply by looking. Oh, great. Well, how can they be found? You must first answer my riddles three. I love riddles. Wait a minute. The man goes flying back into the wall. He's knocked out. What was that? Force push. Couldn't you have used, like, force figure out the answer to the riddle? You hear a slight rumble. The wall behind the man begins to crumble away, revealing a hallway. Unbelievable. Let's go. The hallway extends back about 50 feet before rounding a corner, 
when you get around the corner, you see rows upon rows of socks. Jackpot! I'm gonna start shoving socks into every pocket I have. Give me perception checks. 15. 18. What? 13. You all hear grunting and labored breathing coming from further in the room. It sounds like something's in distress. I sense a disturbance. We all do, idiot. We have the socks. Let's just go. Uh, somebody needs our help. We don't have to be the ones to help. I'm going to climb to the top of the shelves to see if I can tell what's going on. 18 to climb. You pull yourself to the top of the shelf and peer deeper into the room. In the center, you see that a reindeer is tied to the floor. His nose is red and glowing bright. Rudolph, guys, we have to save him. Fine. You creep to the center of the room, hiding behind shelves as you move. You hear a door open, and then footsteps approaching Rudolph. Can we see who it is? It appears to be Kevin from Electronics. Time for some payback. Kevin is standing next to Rudolph now. Your production is down. We need a hundred more pairs by the end of the day. Rudolph just whimpers. Let him go. Kevin is shocked. How did you get in here? Doesn't matter. You'll never leave. Roll initiative. 12. 16. 20. Okay, Waylon, you're up first. I'll use the force to grab two shelves and smash them together around Kevin. The shelves do crash into each other, but he manages to jump out of the way. Lance? Oh, uh... Are, are there any weapons around? To your right, you see a couple of baseballs and bats in a sporting goods overstock pile. Batter up. I'm going to attempt to hit the ball at him. 18. That hits. 24 damage. The ball hits him directly in the face, peeling some of the skin away. You notice that underneath, it's metal. He's a robot? It's his turn. He rips away his shirt. Turns out his torso is actually a PS5. That's no robot. That's a construct. He unleashes a volley of Blu-rays. Each of you take 30 slicing damage. Sarah, you're up. What's the one thing consoles don't like? I don't know. PCs? Water. I'm going to throw a baseball at the fire sprinkler above his head. Eight. That misses. That's not possible. Waylon, it's your turn. I'm going to force pull him onto Rudolph's antlers. 25. That works. You pull the construct down onto the antlers. They do pierce him, but he's still moving. Sarah had a good idea. I am also going to do that. 21. That'll hit. The ball hits the sprinkler head and water sprays out all over Kevin. He begins sparking. I'll make it rain on these foes. Rudolph, seeing that Kevin is near death, unleashes his nose attack. A blinding red light surges out and fries Kevin, who falls limp. I'm going to cut Rudolph loose. He stands to his feet, smiles, and then takes off flying through the roof. Oh, no thank you or anything. Nice. You see a bright red light flash down through the roof as Kevin morphs back into his original form, a PS5. So they do have PS5s. Well, yeah. You just have to free a reindeer and beat up a couple people to get one. Well... Let's get these socks back to the king. Don't worry. Next week, you guys are going to get some serious kills in. I have a feeling like second fiddle. I'm second guessing. Trying to learn my lessons. I'm focused on character progression. They asking how I've been dealing with the stress and depression. I've been using music as a weapon. This is my boomstick. I'm using it when the tension and the room stick. I'm victim on doomsick. I'm giving them something they gotta consume quick. Speaking of which, I've been spending every minute of the last 10 years of my life learning to turn my concerns and yearnings into my returns and earnings. I stay churning out the content. I've been doing my best to not get caught up in the nonsense. But we all get caught up anyway. 